people of God, wherever you're watching us from, you are welcome to day five of Peep into Festival Enoch Adejari Adeboye. It's live. We started on Sunday. And of course, Monday was excellent. Tuesday was beautiful. Yesterday was amazing. Today will be what? Fantabulous. Super, 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 super sonically fantabulous. Come on! <laughs> super sonic fantabulous. All right. So wherever you are, kindly... Um, Sit back, enjoy yourself, as today is going to be a great time here on the fact about our Father and the Lord, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God's life. There's so many things you don't know about him. We are celebrating him because he turns 80 on the 2nd of March, 2022, which is when? Just a week from today, Just right? a week from today, yes. So, That's on that, a Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. Yes. And today's Thursday, right? Yes. All so. right, so I know this is going to be a good, good, good time for you as we have the social media segment. Today we have something, something important. My name is Sabrina Ozma. And I am Olushaya Orodele. You're welcome to today's show. And as Sabrina rightly said, today is going to be exciting. We have so much in store for you. Okay, so get ready. Get ready. I'm going to be singing some Google songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get ready. Get ready. Are you pumped up? All right. So on that note, we are going into the streets. Let's hear what people have to say concerning our Father and the Lord, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. I hear some people call him the people's man. I will tell you is the people's father. Generations to come will know that there was a man or there lived a man on the face of the earth that his name is Enoch Adejari Adeboye. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after the segment. My name is Mofin Fuluwa Alade Shui. And okay, what do I think about Daddy Joe? Uh, Daddy Joe is, is a daddy. He's a spiritual father and covering. And I see him as a mentor. I see him as someone to look up to in every area. You know, he has blessed my life directly and indirectly anyway. So he's someone I'm really grateful for. I, my name is Victor Akiwande. So I, some of the things I love about that Gio is majorly I love his humility. That is very humble. And his consistency, like that is very consistent. And once you see that, you see him as um, as a person who, who has stayed so well in the place of prayer. So I love I love his consistency. I love I love I love the spirit revolving around Daddy. And I love the grace that he used to carry himself. I love the confidence and the courage he used to address things. And most importantly, I love his wisdom. Daddy shows wisdom in several ways, in several aspects of life. Thank you. My name is Iwalai Ayomide. And who is Dajio to me? So Dajio is like our, our father, our spiritual mentor, person we look up to, the person we want to become in the future, our, our, our mentor is our is, for me, is my grandpa, even though I've not met him before. So Daiju is means a lot to us, and we thank God for for making us his children, and we just thank God. My name is Comfort Daniel. Well, Daddy at eighty. Let me just sing a song for Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Daddy. We love you so much. Thank you for all you do. Hey, my name is um, Isaac Victor. Um, as we celebrate our father in the Lord, Pastor Yi Adeboye. And there are three major things I crave and I, we always pray to have from our father in the Lord. The first one is humility. And then there is much to emulate from him. Humility integrity i'm um, usually um, a time conscious person um when daddy tells you that okay by social time you're going to see me i'm coming to social place you're going to see him 
is going to stick to his words. When that is ministry is telling you, I'm going to use 10 minutes, he's going to use 10 minutes and nothing will change that. Uh, I pray that uh, the Almighty God will strengthen him more and keep him for us in Jesus' name. Hi, my name is Oluwa Tosim of Fikoya. Afola Biesa. Happy birthday, Pastor Ea Adeboye. Thank you for being an instrumental tool to the body of Christ in Nigeria. We appreciate you so much. Thank, may God continue to uphold you, strengthen you, and be with you. Hi, my name is Afola Biesta once again. Pastor Ea Adeboye, happy birthday. We bless God because you have been a blessing to the body of Christ. I love so many things about Pastor Ea Adeboye. Pastor Ea Adeboye is a strategic planner. Pastor Ea Adeboye is a man of humility. He has wisdom, he's courageous. Is an effective communicator. We are blessed to have Pastor Ia Adebo, and it's my wish that God will continue to keep uphold and strengthen him many more years in Jesus' name. And together we say, Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Pastor Ia Adebo. Um, Olu, I am Mr. Lighton from the University of Lagos. Um, what I like about that the Ia Adebo, um, the fact that he's so passionate about so winning, like. He's so passionate about it, like populating the kingdom of God and depopulating the kingdom of darkness. Like, I mean, that's like the assignment we were given to come and do here on earth. And the fact that he's so after it, I really love that about him. I love the fact that he's always like teaching the right word, making sure that every person is being carried uh, about, like not just um, the elderly ones, the, the, the teenagers, everyone, like they are being carried along and I love it. Like, I, I'm so grateful for uh, the kind of life he's living, and I, I'm like I'm so blessed to have him as uh, my father in the Lord. I'm not a redeemed member, but the only thing I can say about him is he helps a lot. Like um, during Christmas season, I see redeemed give out school bags to children and a lot of items. So with that. I think he's a really good man. So I'm wishing you a happy birthday. I just want to sing this song for you, Pastor Adebo. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Sir, I wish you long life and prosperity. More years ahead with, in good health. Enjoy your day. Have fun. Bye-bye. Hey, Pastor, anyway. And uh, general of Asia, which of Asia will be whole regime, Christian, Church of God. He's a pastor, which I know. Um, well, the man try to manage such a large congregation is not an easy task, even at his age, without conflict. He try, uh, you know, to manage human beings is one of the difficult things. For him to be able to manage and have, you know, let's say, branches and a coordinate whole annual uh, Holy Ghost Congress. It's a great thing, and not only in Nigeria, outside the country. So the man is trying. Uh, and I uh, wrote, in fact, one of the greatest surprises, most of the time, I've seen him function in po and, uh, as a preacher in a pulpit more than an hour. So it means that. The grace of God is upon me. I wish him happy birthday. And I pray that the grace of God will continue to rest on him. To continue to save lives. In Jesus' name. Baba, 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy Come on. birthday. Come on. Come on. Happy yo, 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 yo. birthday <laughs> to Sabrina, what's happening? Uh-uh. Let me put this beat. What now. are you doing? Chik, 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 chik. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's amazing. We want to yeah. say thank you to everyone that participated in that. They said some profound things. Yeah. Of course, yes, you are speaking about our daddy, your daddy, everybody's daddy. daddy. <laughs> yes, so Pastor Yadiboye wants more from us, Sabrina and I, to you would like to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, We are daddy. so proud of you. We are yeah. proud to be, to be associated with you. Mm -hmm. So Sabrina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sabrina, this energy. Mm -hmm. you, you know, I've been talking about Is this. Is it your came daddy's birthday? <laughs> it's my own daddy's birthday. Let me dance. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. My God. Well, you know, I love what there's something this man said. He said, well, he tried. Ah. <laughs> Means daddy has really tried. He tried. Because it's not easy. At his age, yes. he stands on the pupil for more than an hour, sometimes yes. one yes. one hour, 30 minutes, sometimes yes. two hours. He, he'll mount the pupils at 10 or 11, and before you know, it's a minute to one. Can you do that, my brother? Hmm. Indeed, the grace of God yes. is mighty on our Father and the Lord, the general of us here. And Daddy, we truly, truly pray that you will continue to grow. You know, the strength of God will, will continue to be so strong in you Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Because at 80, you are still standing tall and strong. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so it's time for some beautiful fact about our Father and the Lord. Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And I'm sure you can't wait to have them. I know some people were asking. So some people asked me that, how do we know all of these things that the daddy mentioned that it was for us? Uh, did, did he mention it? Did you write them out for us? For us. And I told them that <laughs> it is, daddy's life is actually open. Yes. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, from his messages, he will tell you, oh, let me tell you, there was a time. Remember the one that he said that there was a time that while they were uh, married and things were so difficult for mm -hmm. them. The okra meets. Yeah, yeah. They mentioned yeah. the okra meat. Yeah. And one of his children was saying, ah, Daddy, is this meat? He said, Yes, now. Nah. Once this meat is meat. And so, from even his illustration, his preachings, yes. you will definitely get some things about. So, if you're not, um, how do I call it? If you're not concentrating on mm -hmm. the Word of God, it's time for you to do that because you get more facts. All yes. right, so Shayo, what is the number one book? Yes, so bring your attention right here. So the number one fact for today is that CNN and BBC reported that 1998 Holy Ghost Congress of RCCG was attended by over 7 million people, wow. the largest gathering of people in one spot on earth Whoa! at the time. Whoa, 7 million people, people gathered at a place that was no stampede, no wonder CNN, BBC, everybody came for Lecky 98. Because he was, I know that that's something that nobody has ever envisaged. Yes, nobody, nobody would have thought that, at least for the first one, it was like a pioneer event. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like there was a track record or something that you could point to and say, okay, we, we would go for the next one. But it was the first one. Yes. It just shows how evident God's hands are upon the man of Do God. Do you remember there was a time again in RCC, just, I think it was like five or six, Four years ago, before we moved into the new auditorium, that the old auditorium, Daddy just said, this one, we are launching the new auditorium. Yes. People were seated on the road. On the road, yeah, by the arena. It was, some people were still standing on the road, sitting funny enough. The it wasn't, they didn't even have in, enough space, space to sit. Yes, and that's, it's only God's power that can do such magnificent thing in our generation. And we are glad that we are in this generation to witness such a great man of God as our Father and the Lord, the General of Russia, Pastor Enoch Adejari, Elijah, Elisha, Sunday, uh, Sunday, Adetono, <laughs> the tiger, <laughs> the tiger, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. All right, fact number two. Since 1999, the Holy Ghost Congress of the Redeemed Christian Church of God have, has grown to more than 50 million people in attendance in camp. That's so true. Over 15 million people all gathered together. I sometimes feel that we don't even really count those people properly. Of course. That's, uh, because you, we you are, can't state that enough. Yes, yes, you can't because people are gathered at the old auditorium at and also auditorium. at the new auditorium. You look at the old auditorium, you'd like, is it like people did not go to the new auditorium? And you look at the new auditorium and you're saying, are you sure people didn't go to the old auditorium? Like, that's how the people flocks in they troop into the camp for 
every service. And this 80th birthday, I know it's that. It's going to be massive. I know. I, I can feel it. I, I can, can sense feel. it already. Yeah. And yes, preparations are underway. Marathon praise is jarring up. It's going to be a beautiful one. Amen. It's going to be a beautiful one. Amen. Yes. All right, let's go. So fact number three. <laughs> Sabrina mentioned it earlier, but we are going to reiterate it. And it says that most times, Daddy Gio shares his life experience during his sermons. Yes. So if you're attentive, you would listen, you would hear, you would hear beautiful facts, beautiful yeah, truths. Yeah. There are certain principles that Daddy Gio would speak about that he applied in his life. Mm -hmm. That honestly, true to God, if your heart is, is, is stayed on God and you apply them, they work. Mm -hmm. Like he's, he's a man that God has taken through journeys, through precepts, through... Like it's, it's, it's those things are, they are systems that work. Yes. It's a system. Yes. Yes. I remember there was one he mentioned that while he was in the world, you know when you look at that, you're like, this, was this man really in the world? You know, and he said he was, he now became a lecturer, a lecturer in Lori, and this woman came. And like, because I've heard that there's a man of God that heals people, that prays on people. And her son was very sick. And so they said, take him now to the pastor. He will pray on the child. And so she waited and like, it's now your time to see the pastor. And she walked in and said, please, I want to see the man of God and, it's, and, and he said, I'm the man of God. The woman said, you? You? Are they boy here like you? And of course, that's what God can do. The Bible says that all things have passed away. Is anyone being Christ? Mm -hmm. He's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become, become new. new. And that's what happens when you give your life to Christ. So for, so for some people that are saying to themselves that, oh, um, I don't think God can forgive me. I don't think God can do this. You know, God is the one that can truly forgive. He said that he will take all your sins into the river of forgetfulness. forgetfulness. And so that's what God can do to your life. And anytime that Gio says something like, really, Daddy Gio, you too, you know, we just felt that this man fell from heaven, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, you, you know, um, take for instance, the woman by the well of Samaria. Mm. You know, that woman would have looked at herself and she was like, nothing good can ever come out of here. Yeah. Imagine a woman that had been married to five husbands yeah. and she was even with one that was not her husband. husband. But Jesus told her that if you know what I can give you, mm. if you know what I have for you, you would know that your story has only just begun. Mm. So I'm speaking to somebody out there, you might have done the worst and yeah. you might be thinking to yourself that, there is no hope for me in mm. God. I have good news for you. Good Your news. story has only just begun. Hallelujah. As many as believed in God, he gave power to become sons of God. Hallelujah. Yes. All right. Fact number four. Okay. The Holy Ghost Congress of the Redeemed Christian Church of God moved to the redemption camp permanently in 1999. And that's when Daddy started living at the redemption camp. During his sermon, he mentioned that camp was actually a forest. You know, when you look at the redemption camp, I don't know how many, how many of you have walked around or, you know, journeyed around the redemption camp. When you look at it, you're like, really? Was this place really a forest? Daddy said it was a thick forest. There was no power. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I think that there's a fact about that coming in, but that's just it. God has been with this man. But to relate it, yes, Sabrina, if you come, if you actually come and you walk uh, um, through redemption camp and all of that, you would find some species of animals mm. that you won't find somewhere else. Yeah. There are certain birds that you won't see anywhere, wow. but they are like resident on the redemption yeah, camp. Yes, yeah. it's to show that those ones were here before we came yeah, so. and they are still retaining their <laughs> space. <laughs> like no man can take my space. I am here. <laughs> if you like, come in your millions or billions. I am here. All right, let's go. Yes, so fact number five. I like this fact because I'm a fashion enthusiast. Wow. So it says that Pastor Adeboye's trademark wear is the safari suit and a bow tie. Man is always peng, is always cute, always, always. On point. Yes, on point. On point. Shout out to Estelle, by the way. I don't know who you are, but you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you for dressing our man of God. I'm sure his daddy that has all those ideas, but thank you for tailoring it 
into his perfect Of course, peace. of course. You God know, you know the Holy Spirit is, is involved in every area of our lives, yeah. including our fashion. Yes. He wants to clothe us. Mm. Imagine Adam and Eve, when they, of course, said they were naked and all of that. It was God that fashioned I the I think the Holy Spirit outfit. actually fashioned this thing because it wasn't there before. You remember before we came on air? Yes, I was telling Sabrina. Oh. She, was shy, like she wants to put flower in this thing. As a flower girl that I eat. <laughs> So the cup was actually all black, so you can see that the Holy Spirit, do you like it? If you like it, please a comment and tell me. If you don't like it, shall keep it to And yourself. maybe a prophecy is coming as Sabrina has brightened up this fascinator. God mm. is about to brighten up your day. Oh, so maybe that miracle alert is coming your way right now. <laughs> oh, what is the Lord saying? I'm sure it's to me. Sabrina, the Lord is about to brighten. Thank you, man of God. Touch my forehead and bless me, sir. Glory, Thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. All right. Fact number. All right, Pastor Adeboye organized a special Holy Ghost service in March to celebrate God for his birthday. I like this one. You know, because Daddy Joe shared his story that at the time God asked him what he wanted for his birthday. And imagine, it's just like Solomon. God is asking you, what do you want? Imagine the layman now, the regular guy. Ah. God is asking you, I'm giving you an open check. Do something about it. And he's asking for wisdom. Daddy Gio asked that God will give his children miracles mm. for his birthday. Mm. Can you see how selfless that man is? Mm. Like God is literally asking you, ask for anything. And then all he would ask for is, I want a miracle for my children. Don't we enjoy and, and then it? God now said, go ahead, mm. let the special Holy Ghost come. That's how the special Holy Ghost came about. Yes. And are we not enjoying the miracle. I always say this for people, that it's now time for us to transcend from our selfish interest to praying for people. Because when you pray for people, God is doing your own. Because this daddy Gio that we're talking about, our own daddy that we're talking about, we have his own miracles. Yes. If miracles are happening in our lives, means it's of happening course, in his course, life. Look at the last Holy Ghost service. I'm sure we watched. If you are, if you don't, if you didn't join us yesterday, there was a testimony about a lady that said Daddy Gio called her to pray for her. If Daddy Gio hadn't called her to pray for her, would that be a miracle? Hmm. So that hmm. is something we should. I think we should learn from him because he's a selfless man selfless, indeed. Yes. Very selfless. He will tell you that he doesn't want this. Let it happen. To his children. That's one thing. That's a good father. There's some fathers that are very, very selfish. Mm -hmm. But our own father is not selfish. God has blessed us with him. If the miracles happening in our life, means it's happening to him. We are his children and he can see the light. And of course, the light is also shining on him. That is very, very profound. All right, the next fact. Yes. So the next fact, fact number seven. Before I share this one, Sabrina. Take it easy, brother. We should just, we should, maybe we should drink water. Uh, let us drink some water. Are we not even wearing matching clothes? What are you saying? Oh. But you are not Daddy Gio. I'm not Mommy Gio, Sha. Maybe that's where the whole situation <laughs> is. It's not correlating. <laughs> but it's correlating. Look at Ian. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I had to match, I yes. had to match Sabrina. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. I've been now. It must be by the Spirit of God. Glory to Come God. Come on, go on, God, Glory brother. Glory to God. God so fact number seven again, at every function, Pastor E. Adeboye wears the same or matching colors with Mommy Gio. Wow. That's Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. Yes. Like Mommy, ah, these people are fashionistas, oh. At their age. Not all these women that do, they don't know colors. Mommy knows colors. And of course, I'm wearing mommy's favorite color today, pink. Huh? It was like it was like you were in the spirit too. I know, right? I'm Where's... wearing daddy's favorite color too, blue. Where's it blue? Maybe it's not the. Ah, it's blue now, Sabrina. Is it not navy blue? That yeah, it's not blue. Okay, this one is blue. blue. This one too is blue. Navy There's blue. blue. Blue, there's blue here. Okay. Blue, blue everywhere. Is your eye, maybe your eye your eyeball too blue? Don't let it be blue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, glory be to God for them. Really, really, really. And the, the beautiful thing is they are not even they are not afraid of taking risks with their outfits. Yeah, green. So that the Gio wears the most colorful outfits. Yeah. And then you're like, 
Did you see Mommy the last Oligo Seven? Yes, that suit oh. was. Oh my goodness. In fact, I'm deriving even, all my even colors. Even on the screen, yeah, you could literally see that yeah. something is happening yeah. here. Yeah, so you, it means that when God comes into your life, He comes to beautify you. Mm -hmm. He exchanges your ashes for beauty. That's it. Let God in. Let God in. Yes, you can it. tap your neighbor if you have a neighbor beside you. Say, neighbor, neighbor. let God in. Let God in. <laughs> So he's still uh, peep into Pastor E.A. Adeboye's life. We'll be going shortly into the social media segments. But before we go on, we'd we'll like you all to please share and say a word of prayer for our Father and the Lord, even as it turns 80. The special Holy Ghost service starts um, next week from the 3rd. Sorry, from the 2nd. But not to worry, the marathon prayer starts on the 28th, 7 a.m. Kick off with all the jelly. Jelly, ministers of God, John Brown. All you have to do is just go to um, 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 the Facebook, like us at Dove Television, tweet at Dove TV, and of course on Instagram, you can watch us live right now on Instagram at Dove TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube at Dove Television. And don't forget that you can do greater things with your prayers. Don't worry that the Gio is watching you live. And I'm sure he's like excited to say, my children, thank you. All right, Lo, so let's quickly go on a break. Even as Iyanu Akindayomi is standing by for the social media segment, stay tuned. the social media segment Iyanu Akindayomi is standing by hey beautiful hi hey, gorgeous. Serena. hey princess why are we wearing pink well, I don't understand though it's like, no, like this, I... this matching thing is working hmm. we are working with mommy Gio you know this is our favorite color you know right I know mommy is my mommy no we are ah, she can't be your mommy I'll be my mom <laughs> at the same time uh -uh. why that now all right so it's time for you to take off. thank you card. very much God bless hello you. everyone and this is the social media segment you know how we all do it and welcome to day five day one two three four and wow we are in day five well the question out there today is who would you wish pastor ea adeboye is to you well we're going to find out in our social media comments today. So let's go on to our first social media segment and that is Facebook. Well, this is from Peace Ebele. It's saying, he is my daddy already. Well, just arguing about that. Um, thank God for his selfless life and humility. God keep on blessing you, sir, in Jesus' name. Amen to that. Toby Loba Abayomi is saying, my spiritual father, may the blessings of God never cease in your life. Amen. Congratulations, sir. Yes, um, Wifi Mercy is saying, my amiable daddy, congratulations to you. You will finish well and strong and take as many people as possible. Amen. And that is Daddy Gio's target. Like, the way he's winning souls for Christ. Oh, my God. You don't even want to know. Anyway, this is Adeyemi, Adeyinka. And it's saying, happy birthday, my daddy. You will finish strong and finish well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All your heart desires will miraculously grant unto in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much, sir. We all love you, daddy, from Dove TV. Anyways, still on um, Facebook. We have Adeyeye Olu Adeshola saying, My biological father, happy birthday, daddy, more grace, extra divine collusion, may almighty, more anointing for the decade ahead, sir. Yes, 181900, we are here for you, daddy. Anyways, James Armon is saying, My daddy, my mentor, my teacher, my guardian, I wish you more of God's grace, strength, and live and long life in sound health in Jesus' name. Amen to that. Moving on to our next social media platform, and that is Twitter. And this tweet is from 
fire be me, fair me. He's saying, my father and my mentor. Also, the Adejumos one is saying, my son, because our, because our riches will be so abundant in heaven, in Jesus' name. Amen to that. This is Olani Pekun saying, he is my grandpa. Yes, he's a father to all of us, in Jesus' name. I'm genuinely 41987 is saying, my number one spiritual father. George is also saying, my biological father. Literally, everybody wants Daddy Gio to be their father. Like, there are plenty. I think that Gio has to come and start claiming us one by one. So, but like you all know, I'm first in line. I don't know about you. Also, still on Twitter, we have Esther. And Esther is saying, my father. And this is from Crystal Francis. He's saying, my best friend. Tolu Davis, Ade Dairo, is saying, my papa. Um, and our last social media platform is Instagram. And this post is from um, Ade Iodex 2018 saying, a father and a mentor. Prince Oye is saying, what can express you? And Olaniki, Olaniki too is saying, I wish he is my daddy, the one I have free access to anytime, any day. Yes, we we'll just we we'll all wish to have access to daddy Joe, but then again, we would because we are claiming he's our father. Ah, don't worry now. And also still on Instagram, we have Tenny Bees saying, my daddy. And um, this is Daisy saying, the president of my country. Ah, I didn't know when that you became the president of Nigeria. But then again, <laughs> it's all good. Imagine that you was the president of Nigeria. How would that feel? Omo, the whole nation. <laughs> don't worry now. Um, this is from I am Motulu. Um, this is from Tolu. A father, God anointed, God sent, and a mentor. Um, the Adejumans again saying, my son, because our riches will be so abundant in heaven. Yemi yeah, Siamotaya saying, my mentor, and Orlando Queen saying, grandpa. And I think that is the end for today on our social media segment. Like I keep saying, please do not forget to continue using the hashtag, hashtag EAA80 on every social media platform. And like I keep saying again, I'm going to be right here to read out some of the messages. All right now, Serena and Shia, over to you. Thank you thank you so much you are amazing that's a good one someone says that is the president of the country I'll anyways <laughs> when we come back from the break we will talk more on that so stay tuned and still a peep into pastor ea at the boys life we'll be right back of country and countries our mother in the lord pastor fulu adiboye would always encourage us to pray i hope you are praying for nigeria and other countries across the globe you could say whatever is happening in those places does not affect you you're safe in your own space but i know that we are brothers we are siblings across the world whatever affects one of us affects all of us so make sure you're praying oh sabrina what do you think yes i think we should always pray for our countries um, for Nigeria, we thank God for our mother and the Lord. Every Holy Ghost services should praise for Nigeria. But we also use the time out to pray for every nation that is going through one hardship or the other, or they're about to go into war. We just pray that the peace of God will flood all those nations and countries Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Even as they say that Ijeo is our president. Okay, yes. That is you for president. I don't think so anyways. But he's our own president in the mm -hmm. Redeemed Christian Church of God. Mm -hmm. And we love that he's our president. He's our presiding president. 
You are too smart, Sabrina. I know this. Flesh and blood did not give me all of this insight. But that's so true. We just pray that God will continually keep and upholding him and uphold him to the very end in the name of Jesus. I can't wait to celebrate Daddy Gio's 100th birthday. Yes, 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 It's going yes, to be yes. Hey, hey, it's yes. going to be amazing. All right, now I'm back into the facts. Shall you what yes, do we so have fact there? number eight. In 1999, in 1999, Pastor Adeboye received an honorary citizenship and key of Cambridge, Massachusetts, yes. USA. Massachusetts is one of those beautiful countries. I know of that because of some, um, there's some things that I'm actually, I, I've done with them as per career, as per education, education per se. Yeah. So Massachusetts is one of those beautiful states in United States of America. Mm -hmm. And of course, daddy has a key. Hey, Jesus. So, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's what God can do for you. Yes. Right? He allows you to have influence. Mm. So this man can just wake up today and say, I'm going to Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I'm going to United States of America anywhere. So once you have a key to one of the states, it means that you can go into the states because it takes integrity for them. You know, United States of America, yes, they stand for yes. integrity. And, and they will do that background check. <laughs> they course. will check everything. They leave no stone unturned. There's a scripture that, that states and that if you shall um, be diligent in your business, he said, he, 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 you will eat the good of the land. And you stand before kings and not, and men, not mean men. men. And yes. so that is it for our Father and the Lord. For those of you that think Christianity is, if you are, if you are a Christian, it means that you. Everything is mediocre. Every, you know. Forget it. If you don't understand it, forget it, my brothers and my sisters. The truth is, in the kingdom of God, there is all that pertains to life. And godliness and we can see that and not only the key to Massachusetts the next fuck after four years mm -hmm. when they gave him a key to Massachusetts in the United States of America in 2002 Pastor Adeboye received the key to the city of Detroit in Michigan, Michigan. Michigan again. Hey, Jehovah. Maybe we should. Maybe that's why. Jehovah, you remember, you remember, you remember this song? Um, no, let me sing this, this song convention. because I need to sing this Wait, song. Wait, we'll sing another song. Hey, sing it. Master key. Oh, daddy. The key of love. Oh, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, that's daddy. one of the songs by our father, Pastor E. Yay. So maybe that's why he composed that song. Oh. You know, he has the keys. To all these things. Hey, and when he say Master Key, Master Jesus, hey, this is the Master Key. <laughs> Amazing one. You know, he received another key. And I just know that even as he turns 80, they're going to give him more keys to nations because the nation's doors are flung open for him. If you take the gospel of God, even the Bible says, and now you shall receive power. After mm -hmm. then, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and you shall be witnesses to the uttermost parts, parts of the, of the earth. earth. We can see it into existence. We can see it come into manifestation in the life of our Father and the Lord. And we just pray that, Daddy, more keys. You receive this more keys. But Sabrina, Daddy already has 197 keys. Mm. Yes, because Redeemed Christian Church of God is in 197 nations and counting. Mm. So it means that, because, you know, like Daddy J will say, once a, once a root has a branch in a place, mm. the root is, the, the tree is there. Yes. That's just what it is. Yes, and glory be to God for that fact. We just pray that he receive more kids. Me too, Daddy. As I am here, Daddy. Shall you, I'm saying this prayer and put your hand down. I'm you did not need to say the whole no, right no, no, prayer. No, 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 you did no. mighty hand, no. you just opened. You've stirred something up in me. So you are just going to allow it breathe. Anyways, you know, but me, as, a, as a, I am a good girl, I can share the keys. It's your life. No, take your keys. Let me take my keys. <laughs> the keys are not supposed to. We, you can fly your fly. I'll fly my fly. All right, so daddy, I call upon you. I call key. upon you, daddy, my keys. Even my keys. My keys. Where? And keys to my mansions in heaven. Oh, that's Yes. I, I don't want just any old mansion. Oh. I want the correct ones. Ah. I want to be on the streets where Abraham. I, I, I want to be, no, I want to be to in between Gio. Abraham. No, daddy Joe is on that street yeah. already. Yes. He's, he's in our own particular estate. Okay. So if no, you are, it's our yeah, estate. Now. No, you, you know where you're buying your own real estate. <laughs> My own is in the prime area. Prime, better Means prime premium, area. Premium, premium. Ah, ah Sabrina. <laughs> I hit <down>. off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last fact for today. Fact day. Yes. The open heavens they 
daily devotional authored by Pastor Ie Adeboye has had its Volume 1 edition published in year 2000. And that meant it's been over how many years? It's 22 years now. So this year is the 22nd edition. But Sabrina, you know what I think about? Like, it's devotional for a full year. Mm. And this man writes it by himself. It's mm. not like he contracts it or he says, mm. go and write it, bring it, I'll vet mm. it, and if it's okay, it, it would fly. Mm. And then you're imagining between going for crusades, between traveling around the it's world, parity. between um, preaching at Holy Ghost services, at the Holy Ghost Congress, mm. and he's still planning for those yes, things. Yes. He's still fasting, he's still visiting people, he's still praying, doing one-on-one -on -one prayers. At the age of 80. Hmm. What does he get the time to write this thing? See, eh? <laughs> and you shall receive power. Don't forget that scripture. <laughs> and now the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. I believe the Holy Ghost is really, really working with our Father in law, if you tell me, because he takes priority. He's there to attend to his family, to his children, to his grandchildren, to meetings, to fastings, to writing, to, to working around the camp to going for evangelism, the light of crusade that we just rounded off. Of course, we were rounding off the last one on Saturday in Lagos. And now the Holy Ghost, special Holy Ghost service is here. I don't know how. And it's not like he comes at any time and he's dry or he's without virtue or he's without something to point. You're like, Adadiju just came empty today. No, you would know that this man is a man that spends quality time in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Back to the open heavens, you know. Today's open heavens is very, very beautiful. Yeah. God loves you. Oh my goodness. Jesus loves you. This I Sign know. From the Bible tells me so. Oh my. Sing it, Shayo. Yeah, sing Sabrina, don't sing it, sing it. You, you know, pick high key. Please let this camera be on Shayo because Shayo wants to see. Sabrina, oh, yeah. Sabrina, no, take it, down. Key, so. take it down. Take it down. Yes, no, Jesus loves me. Mm. Yes, Jesus loves me. Mm. Yes, Jesus loves me. Let's finish it together. The Bible tells me so. <laughs> See, people should come for my tongue praise next year. I I'm not the one calling people. Ah, I'm just Don't put calm me down. on the spot. Calm down, brother. All right. And so the, today's open heavens. Let's just say, let's just put a snippet into it. And the scripture that was so right for me is Ephesians 3, 19. That it says, and to know the love of Christ, truth pass it knowledge oh, that you might be Shabaya filled with Rama, all the fullness Rama. of God. And this is the fullness of God that we see in our Father and the Lord's life. The fullness of God that is so, so very sure. And the hope in heavens has been a tremendous blessing to people all over the world. It's been published for the past 22 good years. Mm -hmm. And daily, the open heavens just speaks to something. Yes, yes. There's, it's like new wine. Mm. It's like it, it keeps getting better. You know, Jesus had that feast that kind of Galilee. And the master of the ceremony was like, everyone I know brings the best wine mm. first. Then they serve the, you know, the fake one, the everything. When everybody has, is drunk and good and they're like, okay, let's do that. But with Jesus, with Pastor E. Adibo, it keeps getting better. It keeps getting, it's like old wine, like that one that has been preserved mm. for a very long time, mm. the more expensive, more fresh Yeah, have you tasted ones. like the most, exp like one of the expensive wines? Sabrina, that's why we're praying to God now, that the Lord will change our levels. Man, you see, the truth is, that is how it is with our Father and Lord, like you mentioned. It is getting stronger, beautiful. I always remember when Daddy would say, when he's 80, that is when his ministry is just starting. Mm -hmm. 80. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's your start. Typology of Moses, Caleb, those men of God. Uh -huh. Of course, we know. So he has something, he has a template to ride on. Mm. And looking at Moses, Moses had 40 wonderful years and mm. he, his, his strength wasn't like... I just wish he saw the land anyways. That's what, um, I, that's, that's one of the things I always pray for, that we shall finish stronger yes, and yes, better. Yes. And for Daddy G, you, you, I know. We that, know it. We see, know it. Daddy, we know it. Don't Without move, a just, we, just calm down. We just know that you are going to finish better, stronger. But the funny thing is, he still keeps praying for it. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he hasn't gotten to a place where he's resting on his oars and he's mm -hmm. like, I have arrived now. Mm -hmm. I'm 18 now. Let the children do it. No, he still has that childlike faith. He still has that childlike and attitude And he believes in the God. youth. 
Yes. He believes in the youth. Yes. Not forgetting that this special Holy Ghost service on Thursday is just dedicated for the youth. Youth, yeah. youth just come up and do things. Not like every other people that will be saying, no, eh, you know. That is the beliefs. You know, every time he just comes on uh, on the Holy Ghost services, that the youth will just raise your like, These people have looked into my notes. That mm -hmm. thing always makes yeah, me gets, laugh. It gets me too. It gets it me, gets me like, These people have, no, no. He, and he will say something that I'm, it's coming to a day where I'll just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and just watch yes, my children. Yes, you know, because behind the scenes, he's actually praying for them. I'm sure he doesn't leave anything to chance. Mm -hmm. He would just be like, okay, these youth, they are coming to minister the word of God to people because lives are at stake. Yeah. I'm sure he stayed in the place of prayer for them. And God, of course, God never fails. Mm -hmm. he, he would never leave nor forsake us. Mm -hmm. So, yes. All right. And so we're just letting you know that the love of Christ is shed abroad in our hearts in the redeemed Christian church of God. If you don't have any Bible believing church and you're watching us right now, see me, I'm not in that people and say, go and look for Bible believing church. Come to RCCG. Any RCCG, thank God the RCCG, the RCCG church is scattered yeah. everywhere. In my area alone, I have two. <laughs> on my street alone, I have two RCCG churches. And God's word is still pure in both of them. You can't go to one and say God is not here, or go to the other and say God is not here. God is everywhere. As many as the parishes are, He is there with us. So like Sabrina said, if you don't have any church you're currently going to, or you know that you are in need of the word of life, you are in need of the water of life, mm -hmm. the water of life is present in RCCG. So join anyone closest to you. Yes, and join it and know that it's a Bible-believing church where miracles, signs, and wonders abound. This is a church that Daddy Gio says will test, will, 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 will stand will, will to the stand end of time. To the end of time. And it was, it was God that made that promise to the founder, of course. And you know God is not a man that he should lie. Of course. Not the son of man that he should repent. So when yes. he says a thing, it is established. Yes. And so God's love is open just down. Now we are going now into the open heavens and say God loves you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave. We know that scripture there is a given. Since we are rounding off with the 10th fact about the open heavens devotional which has started for over 22 years. If you are yet to study your open heavens please do that. And again I'm saying it over and over again that if you are yet to visit the open heavens gallery in the redemption camp. So people have been in this redemption camp and they've never visited that place. Let me break the table this afternoon. While you are here yeah. You are watching me. This item for you to visit the Open Heavens Gallery Redemption Camp. One, two, three, Oldiness Road. That's the first house our Father and the Lord ever lived here on camp, even as he moved into the camp in yes. 1998, right? 1999. 1999. So it's time for you to visit there and see what God is doing in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And the truth is, there's no time you visit that place that you don't have a testimony. I am a living testimony of the Open Heavens Gallery. And so please get ready to visit there. And don't forget that this one. We are ringing it. One of the facts is special legal service is in celebration of our Father in the Lord's birthday. You are saying you are going to, anyways, for those people abroad, you can watch us on Dove Television, right? But those people that can still come, ha, huh, my brother and my sister, hey, hey, there are miracles, though. I'm sure that is saying 80 million miracles. Yes. Uh, is that you know the man too much uh -uh. here? I know that he will say that one. 80 million miracles. Because, of course, if there are 80 million souls, they would each need a miracle. Yes, 8 million souls. That's the 8 million souls. We've, we've exceeded 8 million souls, if you ask me. That is saying he wanted 8 million souls for his birthday mm -hmm. gift. But the truth is we've exceeded... Of course, see all those centers. See God's mighty works. I was at a few and I know how God's mm. presence was preeminent in those wow. places. Wow, and that's what God can do. 80 million miracles find your way to redemption camp. And it's day five of the peep into Pastor E.A. Adeboye's life. See, we have gifts. Me, I know. My producer have gifts for people. If you like, don't send your messages. Sit down there and be say, anyways, let them be ready. Daddy is watching. And of course, I'm sure everybody that they've read their tweets and their Facebook and Instagram posts, that is saying, thank you. God bless you. God, you know, God bless you does not elude that man. <laughs> And he always says it that that's the best prayer any man can pray yeah. for you. God bless you. Wow. God bless you. Awesome. Because God is not limited by time or space. Mm -hmm. He knows is he has all in all. Scripture says he owns the cattle on a thousand eels. Come on, so pastor. if someone that owns the cattle on a thousand eels should bless you, what mm. are you looking for? What can man give that God will not give you ah, much more? That's it.
And so we've come to the end of today's show. I'm sure you've learned and you've enjoyed this segment. I'm really enjoying myself. That's the truth. And all thanks to uh, all that made this possible on Dove Television, a peep into Pastor E.A. Adeboye's life. Thank you so much for making this successful and beautiful. We will definitely come your way tomorrow, day six. <laughs> you are going to hear these facts and you will you'll be, sh you'll be shook. You'll be choked. <laughs> ha choked. Because we are coming in with more fact that you don't know about our Father and the Lord, the General of Russia. Thank you to Iyanu Akindayomi for that. And also a great thank you to everyone that made this a success. My name is Sabrina Osma. Until we come your way again. Yes, and don't forget to keep the conversation going. The hashtag is hashtag EAA80. Would love to hear from you. Oh, My no. name is Olushaya Aradili. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>